trust in you. How do you know this is not a forgery? It, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have to prove any of this stuff. All he has to do is to intimate it and I'm ruined. Oh, Yasmin, he's right around the corner. I don't have the first idea where to even look. Larry, you're eating yourself up with fear. If you want to know where it is, I will find out that for you. How? How? I mean, we've already had Charlie Prince investigated. We found nothing in his background that meant anything. Unless you know something that I don't. Oh, Larry, and who says it's Charlie? Listen, I will find him, and we'll find the missing Dragonborn. What are you... What are you talking about, missing Dragonborn? Where did it go? Oh, oh Alan, uh, Monica, we were just having a little, uh, strategic, um, tete-a-tete. -tete yes, well. I heard that perfectly well. The Dragonborn has been reported stolen. The police were here. No one bothered to tell me. Oh, absolute nonsense. No, 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 nothing's stolen. Everything is on course. We are actually entering the final phase of the great quest. Well, now it's a great quest. Well, yeah, yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, um, looms larger and larger as it uh, gets closer and closer, sort of thing. Oh, my goodness, I do believe that uh, Dr. Maloudi is expecting a satellite transmission into her computer terminal regarding a certain fine-tuning of her course. <laughs> Shall we go? Excuse us, everybody. The man's a total flake. He's a fraud. He married your sister. Doesn't that say something about his judgment? She had money then. She doesn't have a dime now. What does that tell you about his skill as a con artist? Well, actually, it says more about your sister's judgment. Come on, Alan. Look, let's just say maybe it is all real. Maybe there is a real treasure hunt going on. You better pray for it, Monica. Don't worry. Go back in and try to soothe your ex-brother-in-law. <clears throat> Good morning, how are you? Link. Oh, Ashton, surrounded by all of your women, the recent ones anyway. Good morning, Tracy. I do believe that your brother is waiting for you in the living room. I know. You two managed to harvest the gorgeous ones. And intelligent, too. Other men must envy you. Why, thank you, darling. Too bad they're not bright about men. <laughs> well, you know, Tracy, I did learn everything I know about women from you, especially how to pick them. I'm going, Larry. Tracy, are you? Goodbye, Yasmin. Excuse me. Excuse me. I take it that uh, you enjoyed that stupid bit of nonsense? <laughs> Listen, if any one of these ladies leaves you because of something I say, then you don't have your claws in very deep, do you? Ashton, before you leave this room, you're going to give me chapter and verse on the missing dragon bone. Who stole it? And who's trying to sabotage this quest? The bone is missing? When did this happen? Lord Ashton's just about to tell us. Uh, well, I'd be very happy to answer any and all questions after all with the uh, least that I owe you. Fine. Do it. First of all, let me preface this by saying that for an enterprise of this magnitude, the quest oh. is right on schedule. Obviously, yeah, there are problems. There are always problems, you know? Uh, excuse me, doctors. It's the hospital. They readmitted Darcy Smith, and they need you right away. You must come with me. I'm not there. I haven't finished with you. If this quest does not go forward, if it doesn't succeed, I'm going to lose a fortune. In that eventuality, the only person who will be worse off than me will be you. Trust me. How long exactly are you going to string us along, Ashton? You tried the hat trick. There's nothing under the hat. Why don't you admit it? The quest is a fraud and a failure, just like you. Tracy. I am about to open the door on one of the world's greatest treasures, and I'm about to share it with you. Would you close the door on my fingers, forfeit your share, just to make me look the fool? That wouldn't be hard. Are you telling me you still have hope? Hope? That's for fools. What I have is determination. I'm going to see this business out.
guess I'll take her call. Good morning, Tracy. Oh, Nicholas, I'm so glad you're still in Port Charles. Is it possible to see you right away? Of course, but you sound trouble. Is there a problem? Nicholas, I need your help. Someone has stolen the dragon bone and the emerald. Do you have any idea who? No, I have no idea. I thought maybe you could help me find out. I'm very flattered that you uh, can confide in me. I don't think there's anybody I trust as much. Mm. That's very kind. Well, where shall we meet? Could you come to the house? I'll be there shortly. I knew I could count on you. See you soon. Bye-bye. I told you I could find out what Sean told Ashton. Yeah, well, you're beautiful and brilliant. What can I say? Mm -hmm. Let's see, we have orange juice, we have coffee, we have cheese danish, we have blueberry danish. I thought there was a blueberry cheese danish. Um, well, I was going to eat that one. Well, I guess we'll just have to share it, won't we? I don't mind giving you a bite. Mmm, mm, that's good. Oh, just one? Here, I'll share. Mm. What's that? Oh, it's a quarter means. Something just started happening there. Oh, that sounds so close. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah. What can I do for you? Well, Hanson won't admit it, but Kate is still on the dragon bone, and without it, the quest goes right down the drain. Mm, obviously, somebody plans to get there first. My family has a great deal of money invested in this quest. Well, we're not going to let that go down the drain, too, now are we? What's happening? Well, they moved away from the bug. But, question answered, obviously, Sean has not told Ashton that he's got the dragon ball. Question is, why? Dragon Bone and the Emerald, everyone's going to get everything they want, except Ashton and Domino, of course. Mm, the good old rule suffices then. Charlie. The plan. Please, don't bore me. Huh? Who is it? <clears throat> a gorgeous surprise. Don't tease me, Charlie. I'm too upset. Where shall you have a letter you send him and the picture of a little boy? Oh, I wish I was there when he opened the envelope. Do you want him to know the truth so soon? He must be careful, Charlie. He suspects you and me. He has no reason to suspect me unless you've been talking. You know I wouldn't. You've changed course and captain before, my love. Why are you saying these awful things to me? What you have loved has hurt me too. What you have dreamed, I have dreamed. Why don't you trust me anymore? My dear lady, my feelings towards you haven't changed one bit. I would hope not. Charlie, are you the one who stole the dragon bone from Ashton? Am I? Who else is clever enough to do it? If you did it, just tell him the truth and get over with. If I had the dragon bone, perhaps I would. Are you telling me the truth? Don't you trust me? Charlie, I don't know if I can trust you anymore. First, you, you accuse me of turning to Ashton and betraying you. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I spent a lifetime trying to prove who I am, to regain my title. And now that I've come so close, I don't want anything to upset it. But do you understand? Huh? Can I trust you? Of course you can. I want you to get your birthright. And I want you. Mm. I'll call you as soon as I get some news. So you took my advice not to trust her, huh? Never have. Always knew she was too beautiful to be good and too good to be true. Oh, nice thought, Charlie. Well, make up your mind. You're on my side. You're going to take your chances with Scorpio. All right, you've got me in a steel box. What do you want me to do? For now, nothing. See you later. Hold it. One thing I don't understand. All right, you have the map. You have the bone and the emerald. Why do you need me? Come on, Lord Ashton. You're an intelligent man. We both know why.